okay so very good evening to uh, all of you and uh, this is umakant i am from uh, i'm pursuing my phd in bioinformatics since i have 6 years uh, bioinformatics experience and i also teach uh, bioinformatics uh, theory and practicals to the pg and ug students in sri venkatesh transfer of medical sciences and um, so we go for uh, we, we we are going to have a two weeks uh, hands on demonstration from theory class on uh, in silico drug design so whatever doubt you may have can raise the question okay so we will try to solve at that moment itself okay and uh, so try to attend all the classes without getting paid so it will be benefited to you yeah, because all the classes will be interlinked with uh, each and every day so try to don't get a uh, miss the classes okay and uh, so let's go for uh, in silico drug designing so in silico drug designing basically when you come to the bioinformatics what we know that bioinformatics means the bio means we know that uh, all the biological information what are the biological molecules and what are the biological uh, area uh, things we see like uh, microorganisms plant plant the uh, raw, raw data or uh, viruses or uh, whatever the prokaryotic and eukaryotic data whatever we get uh, all the raw data will be sufficiently stored in the bioinformatics so it easily we can say that uh, it's a uh, Uh, knowledge of a uh, uh, core interdisciplinary branch between a uh, biology and uh, computers so here why bioinformatics uh, is uh, going to have an uh, inter, uh, prediction as a scientifically it's giving a prediction because uh, to avoid the unne- unnecessary time okay to avoid the unnecessary time without failing the experiment we are predicting the models in the by using the in silico approach okay that's why the word in silico is it's a tried and uh, run tried and run error okay got it and uh, when you come to the drug designing drug designing again it is of two types that is structured based drug designing another one was the ligand based drug designing so in case structured based drug designing when we have a target when we have a receptor and when we know that drug tra- tra- drug target is known we can able to design a drug very easily when we exactly don't know the drug target so at that time we go for ligand based drug design okay in case of ligand based drug designing we we perform e pharmacophore approach and also in ligand based drug discovery we see the interactions of uh, different types of ligands uh, from one ligand to the other ligand what are the comparisons are there these all things will be seen in the ligand based drug designing okay and uh, so in it comes to the structured based drug designing you see we see here that uh, the structured based drug designing consists of uh, all the 3d structures are available these 3d structures are also called as drug targets okay and the drug targets are uh, most essentially are very useful for designing uh, the, doing the, the making docking with the compounds like in small we call them as the compounds like small molecules yeah thus these may be like uh, the drug uh, targets may be like a uh, nuclear magnetic resonance complete uh, like uh, x-ray crystallography or uh, electron microscopy may be having some uh, this, this methodology and let me see what is pdb so let me go for pdb okay so let me see what is pdb so when you go to the google just go for pdb database okay so this is the pdb database okay so you can see here roughly what what, what was the here it was 182949 molecules uh, where previously last week it was uh, 182949 structures were available currently now when you come to the database you can see it has been raised see the mo- then the number of uh, molecules uh, were deposited are still are increasing day by day so currently today it was uh, 184202 molecules were available in the pdb database okay this is also called as rcsb okay rcsb stands for regional collaboration for structural bioinformatics every month uh, rcsb pdb team uh, they develop a molecule of the month and they used to display in this way okay this is the molecule of the month it is also called acetohydroxy acid synthetase 
okay fine and uh, you see there have been a lot of uh, research is going on covid that's why they are uh, working on covid uh, molecules or uh, covid uh, the drug targets are more and more because they more, more number of uh, molecules those it doesn't having a uh, structures they are developing a lot so when you come to the uh, when you come to the pdb data bank you can able to find the uh, ids which are uh, always available with the four digit id so whatever id you want to see maybe sometimes we, we want to search any covid receptor so let me see covid 19 covid 19 so we all know covid 19 was very familiar okay so when you come to the covid 19 so just you, you can able to find if any targets are available you can able to find this way so so when you search by in the with the name covid 19 so the search result has been given us with a some somewhat there are nearby uh, these many structures are available so you can find here they are nearby um 18852 structures were available so among them there are 54546 were um, homo sapiens and some are rats some are asiaticoli and some are uh, boater some are saccharomyces some are gallus gallus uh, so this is a scientific na- scientific names Uh, belonging to the organism uh, uh, th- those many structures were uh, were available in different types of organism and also the tax- taxonomy is also available here uh, you can able to excuse f- me yeah actually do we need to install any software for this pdb no it's a, not a software it's a database so you can able to access with the website just go for google it's that's it enough no need to that's go for is that enough yeah enough okay proceed thank you yeah 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 and also we as as i has earlierly i have said you that uh, the pdb or uh, pdb three dimensional structures or drug targets it is also available experimental method data those are called uh, x-ray diffraction some are nmr some are uh, electron microscopy so in case of in our ho- in our demonstration we have x-ray diffraction or x-ray crystallography structures will be modeled in homology model okay so you can able to filter based on the criteria you needed if you want to see that the covid information in asia coli just go here and click and go for uh, the taxonomy what you whatever you want to require to see you just go there and also you can select whether you want to see in dna or rna or uh, protein and you can able to filter them and uh, other thing mention uh, when in bioinformatics whatever you do what everyone can able to analyze the Uh, data okay it is very user friendly but other thing is we need to understand uh, the analysis part is very important okay the result interpretation is very important in bioinformatics this thing we need to understand are you able to understand preeti and uh, kasturi are you getting what i am saying are you able yeah. to understand yes, sir. yeah yeah just uh, go ahead whatever doubt you have just ask me okay and the other thing is see here the data is available from 1975 to 2021 but 2024 is not available but uh, they have been given because they have segregated uh, uh, every 5 years once they have been segregating the data uh, they are separating the data but uh, we need only the recent data if you want to see the recent data then go just go for here and just click 2020 and ju- just filter it okay because uh, today we are having basic in, uh, methodology basic information on bio, the data of bioinformatics whatever data we are going to access in when you, when we are approaching for docking okay when you are going for docking or when you are having any binding free energy efficiency what are the required material methods we are uh, we are taking these all things we should have to know because in our upcoming classes we will be moving on every day day by day okay that's why i'm just going with the basic one okay Uh, this is very important see when i have gone in the uh, in the year 2020 okay what ha- what it happened the homo sapiens uh, uh, has been decreased it came to 76 okay if i select homo sapien and i just want to see the in rna or in protein let me see how many, uh, and also i need to see in x-ray crystallography and i want to see uh, in a resolution sometimes resolution is very important uh, when you are performing docking okay when you are performing any protein receptor i mean drug target you are choosing the receptor level should be lesser in resolution okay lesser resolution gives a better binding affinity that's why we choose the lesser uh, resolution even if the lesser resolution is not available at that criteria you can select the resolution whatever it is available in the pdb okay 
so ah, i am just choosing me. yeah is it possible to choose the revolution hello can yes, you hear sir. me yes yeah yeah i can hear yes sir yeah is it possible to choose the resolution by this thing itself yeah here i am showing you na here the refine, uh, refinement resolution i just click here just uh, select it can you see this one yeah can you see yeah here the resolution is uh, it is in starting with greater than 4.5 and lesser than 1.0 to 1.5 it is available if okay. your criteria if your uh, criteria of analysis are if it is required to see in only the 2.2 2.0 to 2.5 you can choose it if it is not there if it is not there only there is only the resolution they have given only the limited one then you can choose the limited one that's it uh, means in case uh, if both are available it's better to choose the lesser resolution otherwise yeah, uh, yeah. we are going with the one lesser, which is available am i lesser, did i catch it yeah yeah you are right uh, you okay. have to go for the first thing is you have to go for the lesser resolution the first one and the second one was the which is the latest one because we can go for the the uh, the uh, which is uh, the previous 10 years back we don't have covid right yeah even the data which is similar it is they have been given here to us but only mm. the data which is required is we need only the the data which is having the uh, recent version because all the mutations has been seen but the mutations are getting changed every day every day every day the mutations were changing the structures are getting updated so i am okay. asking you to go for the latest one so when okay. i have chosen the latest one you can check here the home assistance has been came with the five five hdc coli having the five see what it okay. is going to happen so the, there are only five now you can okay. see here okay 6q will be only the four digit id will be there so as our pnr id will be there na for flights yeah. and trains buses everything have a four, some id digit id will be there according to that the terms of uh, pnr id status you can see here also in the pdb you can able to find that uh, so there are four digit id will be available okay and you can okay. see the four four uh, four digits are available so here i may see that uh, the latest one was 6lwd it was 2021 Mm. Okay, it has been also communicated in the Nature's Communication. You can find here, and it is also having unique ligands. There are also ligands are available, but you can see here the if the ligand is available, go for that one. Choose it. If the ligands are not available, don't go for that one because whenever the ligand is there, you can able to make it as a control when you are doing docking with your uh, some other known protein. Okay, known ligand, okay. known compound. you can able to choose the ligand one which is already incorporated in the pdb database okay and you can see this is not a ligand okay this is a ion so i will just open in the next step but uh, but how to identify whether it has a ligand or not you can find here that uh, the, the you can see the 2d diagram so this was the ion ions are not useful in docking only the ligand which is having the small molecules are only useful and also uh, i'll, I'll show you that that's fine actually one. you said that it's but it's pretty wise to choose the thing which has a ligand but uh, how to identify whether it has or not that's my question oh it has or not ligand i just want to, you want to clarify it okay yeah see you can see here the ligands are there here the, there is a column called ligand unique ligands you can find here there are no ligands there will be no ligands will be unique ligands column will be there no ah, okay 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 got it ah. that's a way to choose the ligand which is there or not also okay And by going through the, the representations yeah 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 okay, you can okay, see okay, here it, you can find here the ligands also so you can able to see which is the ion and which is the ligand is also so this is the oleic acid this one was the glycerol so this one was the ion ions will be eliminated when doing when we are having docking this doesn't docks with the water remediated molecules that's why i just told you to go for the this type of interactions okay these are the three some iupac identifications will be there you if you choose the, those things it is very easy to design e pharmacophores or it is very easy to dock with the same ligand with that protein also if it is how far it is been, uh, having binding efficiency with these all things we can able to see in the pdb database and also the other thing is we have some uh i think you have been raised a question for the last uh, our demo section also when we are going for active site residues or binding site residues when we are doing docking uh, we need binding site residues and also we want to see the grid generation okay so we can able to find them here itself we can able to dock at that particular place only
are you getting what i'm saying can i repeat once again okay just go to the slide i uh, i think you have been understood how the what is the pdb database right yeah is it is it clear yeah yeah fine what about you consider is it okay yes sir yeah fine now now see the now see the slide which i have been shown to you so i have a lock and key okay i have two or three more lock keys also but i want to see which is the you know among the three keys which is the best key is going to bind it and which is the fitted one i just want to know but my protein has already but my drug target has already a ligand i shown you some ligands are there in the right now previously so this is my binding site residue okay this one is my binding site residue i just want to know whether other compound is also how far it is binding at that particular place only i am just telling to that compound this is also a binding play, binding binding residue just go there and have a, a fitting model whether how far the sporing level is there we want to check then we can able to check with the compound we are prepare, we are we are just uh, what i mean was uh, we are just uh, showing them whether how far it is going to bind it to that particular location and uh, you can find the uh, you can find that position just i show you let me show you that that the thing what i was exactly want to show so you can see i have a target okay i have a target i have downloaded from pdb okay or else if i don't have a pdb i have i have modeled the structure okay but i want to see active site binding site predictions also then what i can do just i can find by using this method the method was you have to see the um something like the active site residues in the pdb sum okay pdb sum uh, 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 database Look, okay let me see what is pdb sum so we know pdb now okay we know pdb we know pdb we want to see pdb sum so pdb sum is also nothing it is also called as the residues are called as active site residues for binding a particular I mean, as a particular protein or any uh, inhibitor. Okay, and see, uh, this is six WQA. Okay, this is the ID which is uh, we have opened was six WQA. I want to see the binding residues for this particular protein. So go for here the PDB code. Just give here. You will find that the, uh, the representation of um, active site residues of that particular protein. Uh, excuse so, me. Mm. Uh, is this the way to go up in case of a particular isoform too uh so i will show you the other form also this is the method okay. i am showing to you the first method okay okay uh for this particular protein there are many ligands are available here okay, okay? the first one was the cholesterol cholesterol it is there oleic acid is there glycerol is there but i just want to see for this cholesterol i just click here the cholesterol so you have find it some residues in the cholesterol see uh, the cholesterol uh, it, uh, it is a dna binding protein that's why it is showing us the uh, something with the name called clr olc or something like that okay or else if i go to the zma okay uh, so you can find here histidine 264 glutamic 169 these are the active site residues uh, to this particular position we are going to we are proposing our uh, ligand to go and bind to that particular position because it is a fitted model if you just go and fit your model at this particular position your your expression will be stopped okay i want to stop the covid expression okay we have chosen a covid protein okay right now i am just showing you the covid protein if covid expression becomes more what it happens he he will have more virus will be replicated more right i just want to stop the virus replication right if i want to stop the virus replication what shall i do i just want to have to go for i have to tell the inhibitor compound to go and bind to that particular uh, region to get stop the expression are you getting what i'm saying exactly yeah just to bind the same active site of the uh, actual enzyme yeah exactly so i am asking them to go and bind as like competitive inhibitor do you know this competitive yeah. inhibitor yeah right? competitive inhibitor binds to the exact active site that i know yeah that what we are proposing here okay uh, you were But, asking uh, just a, you were asking just one doubt the, uh, yeah will it work only for competitive inhibition and what about allosteric and non competitive inhibition 
yeah at that time what shall we do is uh, we don't know this position okay sometimes okay. some proteins doesn't have any uh, what i mean some do- some proteins doesn't have ligands or else we are modeling some proteins okay we have modeled a homology model right okay at that time we don't know where is the position is going to bind it yeah at that time i want to tell my pro- inhibitor so think it's something antiviral remedy sphere a drug i want to go and bind somewhere else like allosteric site the site which is not exactly the place it is going to bind it at the other place right that is called allosteric site right yeah just at that time uh, what hinder do the binding we, that's all uh, yeah we do the global docking at that moment we choose the global oh. docking okay. Okay? okay global docking is also called as the docking it will fit where it exactly wants to go and fit mm. it will uh, able to dock an entire place Okay. 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 Are you getting what I have said exactly? Yeah. Yeah. In case of uh, allosteric inhibition, the method to be opted is global docking. Yeah. That we we are going to have in our demonstration in the next. Okay. Week. Okay. Okay. Continue. Then I'll tell you the each and everything how we have to go this all this performance. Okay. Fine. <laughs> yeah. Fine, man. Thank you. And uh, this is the thing what they do in docking, and uh, and uh, this this is the method. The other method was if I have literature information. okay if i have literature information where the region of this uh, particular uh, residues are going to bind it in my protein where the expression is going to be done so you can also find by using the uh, actually this publication is in still i think it is in uh, some uh, i think it is in still it has not came into the uh, online access uh, access i think they have not given here if it is access is there you can find the literature information of this particular protein of this name that is called adenosine receptor structure if you just google it if you will find in the pubmed or some nature reports you will find the information of this particular protein of the where exactly it is going to binding and all these residues information will be available so you can access by that way you can able to find from the literature also where the exactly the residues are going to bind at these all things if it is not available then only you go you choose only global docking allosteric zero region okay so this is about the P- pdb uh, is it clear the pdb database kasturi is it okay fine yes yes yeah yeah fine then then Actually, okay? uh, sir uh, i have a doubt you will be giving a pdf after the classes no about the things uh, no 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 i am not giving pdf we will have a recording sections will be forwarded to you please sorry to say actually i am from biotech student i am a biotech student actually i have a long career gap so okay. it is going a little difficult it's okay i will manage and research. no problem we will share you the recordings okay, okay. thank you because pdf means uh, i we do, we have not prepared any pdf till now uh, because uh, in our entire course uh, we have demonstrations only but uh, when you come to the next sessions uh, please try to install whatever things i am saying to you okay Okay. If you just install those things, it will be very easy to you. Whenever I'm teaching to you, you can able to see uh, this note down everything, whatever I'm showing. So okay. after that, the, after the section, you just practice one one or twice every day. The section after the section, damn sure I'm saying you, that you are, you are going to have a wonderful experience after my section. So you will at the end of the course, you will you will say I have learned something designing some models of three dimensional structure. And the product, the protein. All things are new for me, so that's why. Right. Yeah. Okay. No problem. No problem. It's not an issue. You can able to learn everything. It's if even if you are new also, that that's better thing. I think you you never have that much of confusion to learn. Yeah. So it will be very easy for you. Okay. Don't get worried. Uh, these all things we will teach you according to you as a, in a basic level only. Okay. okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. okay and uh, see uh, now i just want to tell you we have a target sequence how we are going to find targeted sequence this is the thing you may have a doubt so these all things we will rectify it again once again here so there is another database called uniprot okay there's another database called uniprot so just go for the uniprot database this is also freely available it's not required any server or uh, tool software okay is the uniprot database and uh, so this is a uh, uniprot so uniprot is also called as uni stands for universal protein stands for uh, prot stands for protein okay 
universal protein database okay it has only the protein information and amino acid information currently there are the manually annotated reviews are 565928 uh, um annotated informations are there okay which are uh, an- the, those are scientifically and uh, those are comp- uh, those are predicted uh, models some models and uh, tremble it is also has automatically annotated but not reviewed okay these are not scientifically reviewed but they are uh, 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 these are annotated models so tremble is also called as translated european molecular Lib- library because the emb laboratory consists of a different types of data those are called nucleotide data okay the nucleotide data whatever they are available they will be translated into the this uh, uh, protein level molecular level okay and uh, the uniref is also called as um, you will find here the data which is having the clusters of information like uni 100 uni 50 uni 90 like that so uni 100 comes under all the clusters which are having 100% clustering uh, characteristics of a statist identical which are uni 90 having which are very similar to the uni 100 and uni 50 has which are similar to uni 90 so when you just go, when you just filtering at that time you will understand what are those things and uni uni uh, rhu uni rhu are the data which is publicly available those are unique in data okay those are novel and other thing was the proteome proteome information okay so the, the and uh, the, this was been funded by nii nii nie sorry national institute of i so this is still been upgrading the data you can able to do blast also here you can able to align the data you can able to find the peptide search of particular amino acid sequence uh, at this position sir okay you can able to blast it and uh, i just want to show you some of the sequences which are available in the uniprot also doesn't have some three dimensional structures then what shall we do uh, for those structures we have to design three dimensional drug targets for those things those that is uh, by the method called homology modeling and i just show you some protein 9 just i'm showing you an example uh, just don't ask me how you have chosen this is uh, just for the example purpose i'm showing you okay and as i told you that pdb has some id okay that is called how many id how, ma- how many digit id will be there for pdb may i know from your side could you say please yeah six digit uh no ma'am please come on, come come, come on once again five or something No, ma'am. No, no, no. no. Okay, I'm not sure of it then. So, see, ma'am, here. It's a four digit, ma'am. Always four okay. digit. Okay. Okay. Don't. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so it's always four digit. Don't get confused, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Fine. Ah, uh, now you see here. Here, ID is six. Okay. The for Uniprot ID will be six. Okay. Sometimes it will be eight also. Sometimes it will be ten also. But. when it is reviewed it will be having only six digit okay Five those unipro. which ha- yeah yeah exactly see this is a mycobacterium tuberculosis strain it is a protein name was nicotine phosphoribose transferase okay uh, it has the functional information it has expression information it has pathological information but it doesn't have structural information okay so you can find here see can you see the structural information there is no structure is available right it has a sequence length of uh, 463 length and i will show you some other protein also which is having what is the difference of structures if structure is available how it looks you may have a doubt in uniprot so what i shall do here i just want to say something a protein related to mycobacterium tuberculosis just for the example purpose i am taking mycobacterium tuberculosis you can also search uh, as many as you, whatever you require to the relevant search of, of your interest okay the desired interest whatever you are interested so i just want to see something like mycobacterium tuberculosis is something called rmld because uh, these are the proteins which we have already worked in our lab that's why i'm just choosing these things okay to to avoid our uh, uh, time okay so can you find uh, can you see the difference for here the structure there is no structure is available the 3d structure when you uh, click here the left side 
structure you will find there are no structures are available you know when you click here you will find four digit id mm -hmm. are you getting for rmnd yeah. microbacterium so what ma'am uh, can you just shift the previous one so that i can compare yeah see there is no structure for this particular protein yeah at that time, whatever, this is not a structure based drug designing. Then we have to go for the ligand based drug designing, right? Yeah. For this, there is a structure is available. There are three structures are similarly available. With the same crystallization position. But you can able to find the difference was the only resolution. At this moment, which resolution you are going to choose, ma'am? Uh, the second one, 1.70. Yeah, 1.70. Okay. If it is not available any ligand, then what you are going to do? Uh, you mean if, uh, when the least resolution is not available? Yeah. Then we have to go with the one which is available, am I right? Yeah, right, right, fine. <laughs> you are catching them, everything. That's nice. So this is the thing what we can able to do. If it is not available, then just select the sequence, uh, the FASTA sequence. Okay, this is the FASTA sequence. So always remember the FASTA sequence or FASTA file format. Okay, this is the file format of the FASTA. It will be always started with the greater than symbol. Can you see the greater than symbol? Yeah. Can you see the greater than symbol? If it is not available, the greater than symbol, it is followed by the, the ID information of the organism and the protein information and the gene, inf the strain information. Okay. Yeah, after the for, after the greater than symbol, you will find the digit uh, the uniprot information and the protein information and the organism information and the strain information. Okay, these are all things. So you can able to this, this is the um, total uh, amino acid information. Okay? okay, so you need to design for this particular sequence. This is the sequence we call as target sequence. Yeah. Okay. So you need to find a template for this particular protein. Now, this is a challenging task for us to find a template. Everyone is going to find a template. Then what about designing a model? So we have already models are available. Sir, you have you are saying we want to go for homology modeling. We are paying this much of money and what you're there are online softwares are also available. Why it is we want to go for homology modeling with you, with you only? Why can't we go for uh, online? You, you are not getting any doubt. Uh, to compare the structure software. similarity? Yeah, you can see some online softwares also. ITERS. Uh, and uh, the Indian Institute, of, uh, Indian Institute of Technology, IIT Delhi also has been developed by Bhagiratha H. Okay. There are some Indian softwares that are also available. Do you know this one? No, if you just paste no here, and if you just paste here, and if you give the mail ID, they will give you by tomorrow or today itself the model. Oh, what is that actually? This is the online model, online software. Okay. Homology, Abicho, Hybrid, Survival Protein. This is developed by the Indian on Indians only by this uh, Jerem Jerem sir. Okay. They have developed this one. This is the. There are many. Many softwares are also available. Another one was the Swiss model, the famous one was. Many biotechnology students, they develop uh, with, uh, if they don't know the bioinformatics, well, they just go here and they just uh, download the software, uh, go for online one and just paste the sequence here. Just go for start modeling. Just paste the sequence. Sorry. Just they come here and just they copy the entire sequence. Just paste. Here. Just they're going to paste here and there's a, they want to find a template. See here. So we want to find the template. So, so this is the thing we want to find template. You can able to find by using the template here. Okay. Yeah. okay. After that, you you need to make a sequence alignment for that particular protein. The sequence uh, the sequence alignment like uh, will be generated by using the cluster software. Okay. The cluster software is required for sequence alignment. Then you have to go for designing a three-dimensional structure by using the modular software. Okay. So is there any doubts for this class? Yeah, yeah. in case uh, sometimes the enzymes may have two or more, uh, two or two, three isoforms. 
mm. in that case the structures may also be differing so, so then, in that case, mm, in that yeah, case yeah. also there will the same procedure be followed yes yes yeah you can check the uh, the model validation how far your model is having the similarity you can able to find them if your isomers are having three or more then you go for a alignment or cluster alignment then you can able to find whether how far your uh, the isoform 1 and isoform 2 is very similar to the first one and the third one these all things you can able to find by using this cluster in case software. if uh, structure is available for one isoform or an, it's unavailable for another isoform uh, in that cases then you need to make a superimpose okay you can able to superimpose or, or else you can able to see the both uh, model validation i told you that model validation is very important oh, the yeah. ramchandran plot validation and also <laughs> this uh, prosa and also the pro q if you, the model the structure one has uh, already model has lesser score and the isoform which you have designed by, by your own way if it is having the good score then you can choose the isoform which you are uh, been having been designed the 3d mesh structure can you repeat again please i'm sorry your 3d mesh structure is already available okay your isoform you have designed by using homology model mm. both you need to check the protein quality prediction which is having the best score okay then you can propose it the which uh, the either having the best one okay i got it okay yeah got it so for today introductory class uh, we have been recapped everything so and also this is about the basic one what we are going to have in our uh, sessions and tomorrow we are going to have this um, pi mole demonstration okay okay pi mole demonstration and uh, let me show you something what will be there in the last session i think uh, we will have tomorrow the pi mole hands on demonstration and also the similarity search if the time permits us okay okay so every day we have a one practical demonstration will be there okay okay fine. for tomorrow we will have pi mole demonstration before you come to the class just download this pi mole okay okay it is freely available no need to worry uh, online or is it essential to download uh, you need to download okay you just go for download click the download just go for a windows ex extension so oh, it's already available for me that's why i just don't want to download okay just download the pi mode and we we'll, we see how we uh, the pdb okay the pdb is available you can able to download this uh, particular four digit id and we can able to uh, see the um, see just downloading the pdb if you click the download files pdb format uh, if you have been installed the pi mode okay if you have been installed in the pi mode you will see this type of uh, image okay if you just open this one you will find the green color the protein okay the software the, looks like this if you okay. just double click this one you can able to visualize this uh, the protein molecular surface molecular information you can able to rotate the protein in a three dimensional form okay this is the primary level of the protein if you want to see the secondary level of your protein just to go for uh, you can able to see the cartoon representation also so i think you can able to see and if you want to see what are the chains are available for this particular protein also you can able to find because there are no chain because this is the dna one okay that's why it is not there only helices are available alpha helices okay only, only beta sheets are available with two two beta sheets are available you can find them and you can also see the display of the sequence of the particular protein also you can find okay okay this we are going to have a demonstration and we are also going to edit the protein okay if there are more than four or three proteins at that how we are going to edit the protein these are all things we are going to see in our next demo class So, how are you feeling to the first section of this today's class? Are you yeah, able to fine. understand it? Yeah, I'm able to understand the basic things and everything. What about, ma'am, Kusturi, ma'am? Because you are saying that you have a yes, yes, sir. Basic, na? Uh, are you able to understand it? Yeah, little difficult actually. I'm um, as I have said, I'm from biotech, you no? Know, so we have very little bit of bio-inf uh, knowledge. Okay, fine, I'll fine, ma'am. Go ma deep mm. into the. Subject. Yeah, that's what I'm. I was thinking to take and go you deeply. Today is a little difficult to me to understand all the things. Okay. 
i hope i will be understanding soon okay okay fine no no issue ma'am you just listen once again the session recording we will send you back by tomorrow morning okay and uh, just listen these all things it will be easy and uh, by the end of the session you will be learning everything no need to get confused no need to worry ma'am we will there we will assist you to learn everything ma'am don't get confused okay? will you be sending this recording yeah ma'am it takes time ma'am because uh, if no i problem. stop right now it takes okay. preprocessing time ma'am because it get midnight also so that's why now i am going to share you by tomorrow i'm saying okay so okay. for tomorrow session also the same link is to be followed yeah 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 yeah